From around the year 1865, a transition was starting to occur in the lighthouse industry, changing from burning petroleum for a light source to burning gas, most notably acetylene. In theory, this new fuel source could greatly increase illumination while also decreasing the cost and maintenance requirements, but it was difficult to put into practical use because of how dangerously explosive compressed acetylene could be. Many innovators worked on a design that could bypass the dangers associated with acetylene and came close, but the problem of storing acetylene in a non-explosive manner wouldn't be solved until around 40 years later at the hands of a Swedish engineer by the name of Gustav Dalian. Dalian grew up on a family farm in Sweden with four siblings. From an early age, he showed signs of brilliance, helping the family farm through equipment and gadgets he made as a kid, such as an automatic threshing machine, which separated grain seeds from the stalks and husks, and a bed roller for optimal soil. However, it wasn't until 1892, when Dalian was 23, when his skills would be first noticed outside the farm. Dalian made a gadget that was able to determine butterfat content in milk, which attracted the interest of notable engineer Gustave de Laval when Dalian took the invention to Stockholm to showcase. De Laval, noticing Dalian's mechanical skill, advised him to seek a technical education, and so Dalian decided to leave the school of agriculture he was in at the time and enrolled in the Chalmers Institute at Gothenburg that same year. He graduated in 1896 and spent a year in Zurich, Switzerland, studying at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology. After finishing up his studies, Dalian returned to Sweden and started work at the De Laval Steam Turbine Company in Stockholm. During this time, Dalian became particularly skilled in working with gases, as he and his former classmate founded a gas company that they later sold to the town of Engelholm. After success as a business owner, he joined the Gas Accumulator Company in Sweden in 1901, the same year that he married his childhood sweetheart, Elma Pashon. The Gas Accumulator Company in Sweden had recently purchased an acetylene storage patent, and Dalian went to work to try and perfect and market it. The first prospects of using acetylene for lighthouse illumination came about in 1895 when it was discovered that the gas could be produced on a large scale from calcium carbide and water. The main problem, however, was that acetylene couldn't be compressed in containers like petroleum could, for when put under pressure, acetylene became highly explosive and reactive. Progress was made in 1896 when it was discovered that acetylene could be safely stored by dissolving it in acetone. This did create a non-explosive solution, but didn't quite work. This was because when pressurized, a layer of acetylene gas would form at the top of the barrel when the solution was consumed or cooled. It was later discovered that this wouldn't happen if acetylene was compressed in a porous mass, but no one was able to produce such conditions to make acetylene a feasible idea until Dalian got his hands on the patent in 1901. Dalian's invention, known today as the Dalian light, consisted of a container of a porous mass of asbestos and diatomaceous earth filled halfway with acetone, pressurized at 10 atmospheres, and kept at a temperature of 15 degrees Celsius, or 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Dalian took his light a step further in 1907, adding another invention, what is now called a sun valve, which operated using rods that would expand and contract based on the surrounding atmospheric temperature, thus opening the gas valve and allowing acetylene to burn at lower temperatures, and closing the gas valve and stopping the burning at higher temperatures. Lighthouses and light buoys, after Dalian, not only burned much brighter, but also turned off automatically during the day and turned on during the night and during cooler, foggy weather, greatly reducing both cost and maintenance required for these lights. Dalian was named chief engineer at the Gas Accumulator Company in 1906, shortly before inventing his solar valve and in 1909 became managing director of the company when they reorganized to the name Swedish Gas Accumulator, or AGA for short. In 1911, Dalian, through AGA, 
struck a deal worth $150,000 to set up a lighting system in the Panama Canal with his new lights. His work with acetylene stretched further than lighthouses as well by also vastly improving the process of welding. Despite all of this success, Dalian's life unfortunately took a tragic turn in 1912. While testing safety designs for acetylene containment, there was a violent explosion which severely injured and almost killed him. He was hospitalized and blinded and did make almost a full recovery, but his eyesight never returned. That same year, he won the Nobel Prize in Physics for his solar valve and acetylene containers, but was unable to receive the prize due to his injuries. His brother, an ophthalmologist, received the prize on his behalf. Dalian's blinding incident didn't stop him from his pursuits in science and invention. He returned to AGA the following year and remained there until his death from cancer in 1937. During this time, he contributed to more products, most notably a 24-hour burning low-energy oven. He was named a member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences in 1913 and the Academy of Science and Engineering six years after that. Dalian's impact spread across the world, transforming lifestyles of many maritime countries and revolutionizing the welding industry. His work with acetylene gas changed countless lives, and he was an inspiration, a prime example of how dangerous science and innovation can be, and yet still, no matter how great the cost or setback, passion and drive for progress will never waver. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Click here if you want to see more scientific progress made during this time period. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.